In this video, I will show you how to make a simple low power sprinkler timer that you can power with solar. Let's go off grid. In previous years, people used unglazed and porous clay pots called alas for irrigation. The soil would slowly suck water from the sides and bottom of the ala, which would moisturize the soil. Once the soil is moisturized, the plants can take water from the soil as they need. This cycle would repeat itself over and over again until the ala runs out of water. We could build or buy a simple ala, or we can use a small, low-power computer like an Arduino development board. An Arduino is a board with a tiny computer chip on it that runs a special piece of software called a bootloader. The bootloader is designed to process and run the code from the chip from the compiler. The compiler takes the simple code that, that you write and turns it into the complex binary code for the chip to process. If you want to learn more about the Arduino, I have put a link in the description to a detailed video about the Arduino from Great Scott. Now that you know a little bit on how the Arduino works, let's get started with the build. I started off by hooking up a DS3231 real-time clock module through the I2C protocol. The real-time clock module, or RTC, is a chip that once set can report the current time to the Arduino. Once the RTC was hooked up, I uploaded a simple piece of code to the Arduino that sets the time on the RTC. After the code was uploaded, I opened the serial monitor and saw that the RTC was displaying the correct time. Now that I have confirmed that the RTC is working correctly, I hooked up a small relay to the Arduino. A relay is a switch that triggers when you give it a small amount of electricity. This allows computers like the Arduino to control high power devices with ease. Once the relay was hooked up, I wrote a simple piece of code that triggers the relay at a specific time. Then I uploaded the code and hooked up an LED to the relay to test the circuit. About one minute later, the LED lit up and exactly one minute later, it turned off. This is exactly what I specified in the code. At this point, the circuit was being powered by the USB connector on the Arduino. Since I want to power this off of a 12 volt battery, I got a small step down module. I connected the module to a 12 volt power supply and adjusted it to 5 volts to power the Arduino off of a 12 volt battery. At this point, I have completed the circuit and confirmed that the circuit was working perfectly. Now that the circuit was all hooked up, I can now measure how much power the circuit draws. At its peak, the circuit draws 12 milliamps, and this is when I realized how much power the circuit really draws. After some basic measurements and calculations, I realized that this circuit will use half of a 10 amp hour battery in just 36 hours. Now a small solar panel can easily keep up with the draw, but keep in mind this does not include the draw of a small water pump. To help visualize how much power the circuit really draws, this pitcher of water represents a full 10 amp hour battery. Since this is a lead acid battery, it's a, it's a good idea to only drain the battery to around 50%, which means the battery is pretty much a 5 amp hour battery. In one day, the circuit uses about 3.5 amp hours, or 3.5 cups of water, in 24 hours. This shows that if you want the convenience of an automatic watering system, think about your watering needs and power needs. Or just buy an ala! If you want to build a simple circuit, I have put links, code, and any other information in the description.